we actually want on the basis of x so you can see now we have added the clustering welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can draw heat map using this gplot website so as you see this heat map is really attractive and it can be used for quality publication purpose so in this heat map you see on the y-axis we have actually the gene names and on the x-axis we have the name of sample like three sample from wild type and three sample from mutant type then we have clustering on the basis of their gene expression and we can also have distinction between what are three replicates of wild type what are three replicates of wild type and what are three replicates of mutant type so let's dive how we can draw this heat map using this cheap plot website so as you know uh, this cheap plot website is totally free so you don't need to require any sign up you can simply visit this website and after you will visit this website you can come to this tab which is heat map so after this you can click on this heat map and uh, as you see this heat map is looking a bit different than we will actually draw so as here uh, we can upload our data using this so let me show you how you should also arrange your data so here is that file let me go to my file which i, I have just saved yeah here you see here we have our data of gene ids and we have actually three replicates of wild type and we have three replicates of mutant type and here we have list of gene ids and this data can be the any gene expression data i mean this can be simple fpkm values this can be average gene expression and this can be fc values so once you have prepared so you can save this file according to this format and you can go back to this uh, gplot website and you can select your file from here so once you will click on this it will ask you to choose the file so because i have saved this file with the name of it map so i will simply open this file so as i will open this so you can see the name of those gene and these gene ids have actually appeared here so uh, now we actually uh, need to add one more layer to give information of this sample like uh, so what we can give uh, that information in the layers so let me go back and show you one more file which i have prepared so as you have seen in our previous file we have actually the six samples i, I mean wild type one two three and similarly mutant type one two and three so i have saved their name like wild type one two three similarly mutant type one two and three and as i know the actually the wild type was used as control and mutant type was actually like a treatment so i have saved this file in the form of excel as well so now i will go back to this gplot website and i will click on this option so as you know uh, once i will click on this it will ask you to add your layer file so we will click on this plus sign and we can select this layer file once we will select it will ask to open and we can open this so as here you can see the file is added yeah as here you can see the beauty of this gplot website so you can simply use the mouse rolling option to zoom in and zoom out and if you want to increase the canvas size so you can simply draw on and drag it on both sides so we can simply use mouse roll option to make it zoom in or zoom out so now we want to add actually colors because the first three belongs to wild type and the second three belongs to mutant type so after we have uploaded the file you can see our file is uploaded so we can go to this plus sign and we want to actually uh, 
color on the base color the block on the basis of x-axis so on the x-axis we have actually the control and the treatment sample so we can simply add them so you can see now we have actually added and make distinction of samples like type 1 I type 1 belongs to control and type 2 belongs to treatment so now we want to make it color and we want to make it beautiful so let's first uh, change a few options to make it we can double click this to change its position so that we can add move the gene names here as you see this is actually the y-axis so we can go to the y-axis so as here it, it is showing their position on the left so maybe we can move them to the right okay and as we also know the gene names are mostly the italic ones so we can make them bold and we can make them italic that's good and now we have the sample name so we can go back to the x-axis and we can also again the font weight make it bold and we can also maybe we don't need to make them italic okay so now we want to add the clustering based on their expression value here we have g plot so this you can change by going to the legend option and you can see here we have g plot so we can change this into log expression uh, okay log, log gene expression okay so you can see now we have log gene expression and we can maybe move this to this side so that space can be used wisely okay so uh, now we want to add clustering and color so before we go into the clustering let me help you to add color so as here once you will go to this cell option so it will ask you to choose color so once you will click on this so it will give you an option to choose already i mean customized color so we can check one by one and yeah maybe this one oh this is too heavy we can go with uh, maybe yeah this one also okay but maybe let's try other okay and how about this one and this one maybe this one is okay okay so maybe we can choose this one for the time being we can click here to go back and we can if we want to add the values so we can also switch this cell text so you can see here now we have uh, actually displayed the value of those gene expression so lastly we want to add cluster of this gene based on their like correlation so we can go to this clustering method and we want to add on y i mean this y axis so we can simply click on sorry we want we don't want y we actually want on the basis of x so you can see now we have added the clustering so if you want to change the method of clustering so of course you can change but i would recommend you you can leave it to the default because here the method is actually the complete and we mostly use the distant method euclidean or correlation so standardization we are not concerned and standard we standard direction we are focusing in the column so that's it uh, from here now you can if you want to change the background you can also change you can if you want to change the title you can change and if you want to give the title to this this plot so of course you can also uh, give it according to your own like will then we have x-axis and y-axis and uh, from here we can go back to the clustering and we can adjust the tree width according by switching and hovering over this text you can see it is increasing and decreasing so maybe we can decrease a bit more just for to make it like beautiful and now uh, the lastly if we want to export this 
so of course we can uh, change the fonts if we want back to the Arial so we can select this and from here we can select the format maybe this time we can save it in the form of PDF although we can save this in the form of PNG or transparent PNG so maybe we can save in the form of PDF and save so it will ask you to follow it is up to you if you want to follow otherwise it's okay and uh, we can simply click on download so you can see a high quality heat map is ready and you can directly use it